Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be unboxing another munch pack. So let's have a look at what's in this month's munch pack. Oh, Flavor Ice Taffy Chewy Bites. Now I don't know where a lot of these treats are from, so if you see something from your country, please leave a comment below and let everyone know where it's from. Look at the colour of these things. It kind of looks like little colourful pebbles. It's got different flavours here, berry punch, grape, strawberry, orange and lemon lime. No. Oh, I could not open them. I'm going to pour them out on my hand so you can have a good old look at them. Oh, get out. How pretty are they? How am I supposed to do this in a way that doesn't look awkward? Oh, this is weird. Um. Uh, it kind of feels like it's going to turn into gum. But of course it doesn't. They're actually not as sweet as you think they're going to be. What's strange also is that they've got all of these different flavours in here. But of course you don't. Well, I guess you could eat them individually. But I ate them all together. I don't know if that was a wise thing. I can't really tell you what my favourite flavour actually is out of all of these. This is probably actually something I wouldn't go out and actively buy myself. One, because they're just so brightly coloured and I just think, wow, that's a lot of food colouring while I be hyper afterwards. But then again, I don't really care about that. That's everyone else's problem, isn't it? So they're not over the top sort of, bleh, you know, sweetness. You know how some things you have and you're like, I'm going to throw up. But these aren't like that. Oh, that's a wonderful review, isn't it? It's actually quite tasty. And the good thing about them is that they're really chewy as well. So they'll last you a while. Next up, we have this chip. Chocolata... Chocolata cough bread. I think that's how you say it. Ah. So it's milk chocolate. On the outside, I thought that looked like dark chocolate, but it's milk chocolate. It's a wafer biscuit with chocolate on the outside and there's also some chocolate inside of it. It's not the best wafer biscuit I've ever had, but it is still quite tasty and I would get it again. Potato fries and these ones are ketchup flavoured. They're baked, not fried. These are made in the Philippines. I thought it was going to be an American thing for some reason. Have a look at these. Wow, they actually look like potato fried chips, don't they? They're super crunchy and they're salty and they're tasty. They're delicious. The taste of tomato in it is quite strong, but it's not over the top. You know how some of them you kind of have them and you're like, why not just eat a tomato? But these aren't like that. They've got that crispiness and saltiness and you can still taste that lovely tomato through it. These are Boy Boang Cornic Chili Cheese Flavours. Is that supposed to be a piece of corn? I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? If I was to draw a fart, that's how I'd draw it. So this is what's in it. Corn, cheese and chili and farts. I actually like the name of this, boy of a wing. It kind of sounds just like, like an ashen noise. I got a fork and I threw it across the room and it went boom wing. So it's got a little tear thing here. Yes, it does. So you can open it easily. Why am I, oh, okay, I got it. I was just about to have the biggest whinge. Let's have a look. Can you see anything? I'm not sure if these are going to be too chilly hot. It's got like a little orange colour to it, so I'm thinking that these are going to be pretty chilly hot. Oh, these are delicious. They're super crunchy and crisp. They're not really strongly flavoured with chilli. Can't really taste a lot of cheese either. But the flavour of them is quite nice. It's fairly mild. So if you ever see these and you're afraid of chilli, don't be scared because these ones aren't too chilli-ish. Oh, I nearly missed my mouth. It's so hard. <laughs> oh, actually, there's a bit of chilli bite afterwards. It's not too severe though. I don't know why I had to go to work out if it's chilli-ish. Ivel bonbons. Please tell me these are from France. I actually haven't done a French taste test yet, but I will have one coming up. How adorable is this packaging? It's cute, isn't it? So these are apple flavoured. 
have a look at these. Kind of looks like I'm eating peas. Mmm. Oh, these are beautiful. They're chewy and they're tasty. They've got a lovely flavor of apple through it. I'm not sure if these come in other flavors, but the apple one is delicious. These ones are très bon, formidable. Is that French? I think it is. <laughs> Milk cream pocky. I've actually tried these recently in a taste test and these are delicious. They're little biscuit sticks and on the end they've got chocolate, milk chocolate. They are really good. They're a very simple little treat, but the chocolate on it's really nice and creamy and tasty, and the little biscuit stick's really crunchy. Oh, I opened them the wrong way. This is not a how to open things channel, this is an eating channel. See how easy that is to open? You just kind of, oh, I got it. You do that and then you, doesn't matter. <laughs> Noodle snacks, and on the front here it says, don't boil it, crush it. These are barbecue flavoured. Oh, it's got a little instruction thing on the back here. This is what I'm going to be doing, everyone. How to enjoy. Step one, smash the noodles. Step two, sprinkle spices. Any way you desire. Then step three, you've got to shake and enjoy. I'm getting a lot of satisfaction out of this. Is that wrong? How much should I crush them up? I don't want to make it so it's too difficult to eat. Okay, they crush up really easily. I like that they suggest that you make a fist and you just go <coughs> Okay, so I'm guessing there's a flavor thing inside here. Yeah, there it is. Get that out. So there are the noodles that I've just crushed up and let's add this flavor thing. I think I should add the whole thing. Really, what's the point? What else am I gonna use it on? Sandwiches? Do you wanna look at the flavor? It's just flavor, it's just gonna be powdery stuff. Someone wants to look at it, hang on, I'll show you. For that person that asked to see it, there it is. So you just kinda of sprinkle it in here. Oh, that's strong! <laughs> that's no barbecue I've ever had. And this is where the magic happens, I shake it. And what do they look like? Just the same as they did before, really. I just, nothing's changed. Now this is interesting. I guess this is the noise you do as you're making it. Sorry, I didn't make that noise. I don't think I could say that. How would you say that? Pshoo! 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 They're okay. I kind of feel like I'm just eating dried pasta with salt sprinkled on it. It has quite a strong smell to it and I think that's kind of putting me off a little bit. I feel like I should be enjoying these more than what I am because they're savoury snacks. Oh, they're a bit spicy. A little bit. These ones have an okay flavour to them. I don't think I'd necessarily get them as a savoury snack again. I know some people love your little dried up noodles. I think it's interesting that you put that powdered stuff on it though and then you eat it. It makes it a little bit more fun to eat. Pretz. On the back of it, it actually says that I've got to keep these out of direct sunlight. Okay. So these are pizza flavoured. It's got a special to open thing there that I worked out this time. See, I don't really get that. I've done that, right? Oh no, hang on, I do get it. <laughs> I haven't opened it properly yet. So you open it like a little... <laughs> oh. I'm sitting near a window here and the direct sunlight got it and that's what made it jump out of my hand. It actually opens like a little tiny envelope like that and you take them out. And then you open them. So let me show you these prep sticks. Oh, there you go. So they're just like big long pretzel sticks. Ooh, kind of smells like oregano. A little bit like, like the bottom of someone's foot. Kind of does smell like pizza, but more like a pizza that someone's kind of trodden on and then they've lifted up their foot and they've gone, oh, here, smell this, this is pizza. Oh, I quite like these. 
They are crunchy. Oh, sugar. They kind of taste look more like tomato to me than anything else. The cover sort of suggests that these are cheese, tomato, and basil flavor. Yeah, you can definitely taste a little bit of cheese in there, and you can taste the tomato in there for sure. Hi, Chew. I have tried some of these high chews before. This is how you open them. Let anyone know in the comments below what your favorite high chew flavor is. They're individually wrapped. I like that they come in a little grease proof paper thing. They're not super colorful, but the flavor of them is delicious. In my opinion, I think that these high chews are one of the nicest chewy candies ever. Snack pack, Ms. Black. Goodness. Look at these little things living in here. They're pretty cute, aren't they? Yeah, they're little tiny chocolate cookies. Although I do not know why they're so small. What is the idea of this? I guess you could play with them, like build little houses and stuff with them, couldn't you? I don't know why you'd do that with it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We've had a disaster. It got little flakes of white in there. I guess that's little bits of vanilla. Actually, oh sugar, I lost one. You can't get enough of that little white stuff there to work out what it is though. If I could only separate one, I could tell you what it is. What's that? Well, look, it doesn't matter what they are, they're nice. It's an interesting idea for a packet of biscuits, isn't it? Well, I wonder why it's done like this. They are tasty little tiny, tiny biscuits. I have to say that most of the things I tried in this munch pack this time I absolutely loved. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this munch pack unboxing. I will leave a link in the description bar to their website. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.